Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you what's new in the Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018 October update. So if you don't know, Adobe recently updated most of its applications in the line, like Photoshop, After Effects, to the 2018 version. And I'm going to show you my favorite features in this. So we're greeted by this slightly more modern looking start screen, but one of my favorite new features in this update is the fact that you can open multiple projects at once before you'd have to close this one before opening another one. Now you can just go and open a new project or open a recent project and it'll just open in its own tab and sequences. Now I have this project, which is a podcast that I was editing. I can just take this panel, put it wherever is convenient for me. I'll put it right next to the other project and I can switch between different projects and all of their media included within them. So now I can work right between several different projects, take something from this one, put it in the sequence for this other one, and it just makes life a lot easier for many different scenarios. The next major update is to the Essential Graphics panel. So if I go to Window, Essential Graphics, I'll take this tab and I like to place it near the effects controls in my workflow. But they've added a lot of new packages and motion graphic templates, first of all. So you have all these intros and templates that you can drag on in lower thirds. And one new feature is that you don't have to have After Effects installed for you to be able to use motion graphic templates created in After Effects, whereas previously you did. Another new feature in the Essential Graphics panel is the responsive time and position controls. So let's say I was editing this text layer right here, which is comprised of two different layers of text. Normally, if I was moving this one left or right, let's say I wanted the whole thing to be moved to the top left corner, I would then have to highlight the other text and move it back into position, and it could get tedious if you're working with many things. But if I was to pin this Explore Today onto the other piece of text, the best documentary, I can pin it to all sides or one side or whatever. And then whenever I move the best documentary position, everything that's pinned to it moves along with it. So this is the responsive design position tools that they just added to just make the workflow a little bit easier. And in that you also have responsive time tools that have been added. So if there was a motion graphics template with some sort of animation, I could choose to set the intro duration to be zero to whatever amount of seconds and also make the outro longer or shorter. And that is some responsive time designing with intros and outros linked to motion graphic templates and essential graphics. Another improvement to the essential graphics panel is the ability to adjust multiple text layers at the same time by highlighting them. So I could increase the tracking of all of them, change certain things about the appearance of all of them together instead of having to do them one by one. And also there's an improved font menu here. Now instead of just seeing the text, I can see a little bit of a preview of what the font looks like as well. So they've implemented that in there. And there's also the ability to introduce title roles in there just by clicking this roll button. And you can have it roll off screen, on screen, whatever you want. So this one, it rolls on screen with a pre-roll. And you can adjust these settings to start or end off screen, however. So that's another new addition, roles, responsive design, all these improvements to the Essential Graphics panel is making creating titles and text a lot easier in Premiere, as well as being able to link pre-made motion graphics from After Effects. And there's also more that I think they're introducing into the Adobe Stock Store. Along with these many improvements, they're also revamping your ability to edit VR video much more capability to do transitions and effects on 360 footage, as well as responsive editing with gear, VR gear and 360 gear. And there's also some more minor improvements on captions and Lumetri color capability with different formats. So I'm gonna leave a link for all of those smaller minor improvements on Adobe's website where you can check out all of these updates and what they do. But those are my favorite features the multiple projects is definitely a big one, the essential graphics improvements, and the After Effects 
integration with the motion graphic templates. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it below. Subscribe to my channel to check out tons of Premiere Pro and other video tutorials. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you can check it out at Justin OD Show, Instagram, Twitter, all that. Stay up to date with me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Our families were getting involved and like our girlfriends were hype and like it was just like this little movement that was going on and like the views climbed and i remember when we reached a million we uh we had a little celebration and we were like damn this is you know the first time either of us had touched a million